Hi guys, welcome back. So in our series of training videos for using Xero, the accounting software, one of the more advanced features which I wanted to go through is the report codes and new reports within Xero. So we are Xero advisors. And so what we've done is within our Xero HQ, you can see here that we've created a template for all of our clients. So only our clients can see this report template. So in our report template, we have the commentary, PL, balance sheet, cash flow, accounts payable, and accounts receivables. So this is pretty straightforward, and you can drag and drop accounts to each report. What I wanted to show you is what happens, how do you code certain lines into this report? So in the chart of accounts, just give you a very quick breakdown of how it works. If I was to go into purchases, for example, here you can see that this is purchases and it's got all of the relevant bits of information. Now, if I was to export this into Excel, you'll see another level of information for the reports. So just opening up my Excel spreadsheet. Here you can see report code, and it's got different types of report codes. Now, these report codes are what govern what goes into, what, what is mapped rather to this report. So here you can see, this is the profit and loss report for the demo company. If I go back into zero, into the demo company, you can see that purchases is actually a cost of sales. But if I run my report, which we have created, you can see that for this company, Purchase, there, is, there isn't a cost of sales line. Uh, purchases has gone down here under operational expense. So what we need to do is we need to change the mapping of this to make sure it ties back. So how do I get to the mapping? Now, what you do is you go to accounts advanced. You then go to here report codes. And then what you can do is you can see all of the report codes which have not yet been coded into the relevant categories. So here you can see purchases, although it's a direct cost, the report code still has it as an expense, not as a cost of sale. So how do I change that? If I click into expense, I go into the expense, I select cost of goods sold, and I'm gonna select direct costs, and I click okay. So once I've done that, if I go into my profit and loss, if I refresh it, that uh, the purchases is now within cost of sales and now it's been mapped to the relevant um, category within the PL. Just so you know, you can also export all of these codes uh, into an Excel template and then re upload them, just how I've showed you how you can download the chart of accounts into a CSV template just to save you a bit of time. Thank you very much and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.